Okay. So guys, the session is being recorded now, and uh, I would like to uh, tell you that uh, uh, I'll be covering a uh, lot of things in the classes. And uh, before we talk about Tableau, okay. So Tableau is a I would say the secondary thing. Let's talk about the term called data visualization, okay? Because under data visualization, we have ample of things. We have ample of, you know, I would say tools under data visualization. Even if, an, if we just talk about the Excel, Excel also delivers data visualization. If in case you have worked with Excel, I'm sure there are people who have worked with Excel, they can also create certain visuals on uh, Excel as well. So what is data visualization? The basic definition is when we are to represent certain charts, figures, insights uh, from a set of data, it's called data visualization. And if you need, you need to understand the uh, logic behind it, just understand this. If I open this image in front of you, so I'll be opening an image. Can you help me how many sevens are there in this image? Five seconds. How many sevens are there in this image? Just uh, message me. Don't unmute, just message me how many sevens are there. Yes, people. Okay, Sachin says can't do. Sachin didn't even try. Chetan says no. Dev says six. Okay. Okay. Now, guys. Okay. Cool, cool. It was too messy. All right. Okay. Banti says seven. Yes, guys. Now understand this. This is called a raw data. This is what we call a raw data. In raw data, you may get mixed information. In raw data, you may get mixed information about a lot of things. Okay. Now, what needs to be done? We need to uh, provide our client with the insights, okay, with the logical, you know, I would say uh, 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 predictions so that he can actually work on his business. So if in case we work on this type of data, it will not be easy for us to find out the number of seven. Though it, it, we can do that. We can just count that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but that'll take a hell lot of time. What if in case if I give you this? What if in case if I give you this? I guess that makes your work easy. You can easily spot number of sevens here. What if in case if I do this, I guess that becomes more easy to find out the number of inside there. And if I do this again, that also makes our work easier to find out the number of sevens in this. So that is what we call data visualization. So in reality, what happens, you'll be given data. The data comes from any of the source. It could be a flat file. It could be an Excel file, CSE file, PDF file, JSON data, or a statistical file, or anything, any file. Or the data could come from any of the database. When I say database, it could be SQL, MySQL, SP HANA, Google Analytics. It could be anything. Okay. The data comes from any of the source, and you have to provide the uh, analytics. You have to provide the insights. You have to provide the forecasting. You have to provide your client with the certain predictions. Okay. That is called data visualization. Okay. Now, under data visualization, let's see how do we go about it. Okay, and before guys, uh, I, we are just moving ahead. I just would like to, whenever your doubt needs immediate attention, and if you need to ask any query, just unmute yourself and ask your query. If in case you just need to respond yes and no, you can just uh, can do through the Zoom chat option. Okay, so unmute only if in case you have a, a valid question. Right now, I would like to. Go to the introduction of the tool first before we jump there. Let's see. Okay. All right, guys. So let's go here. Yes, is my uh, guys? Uh, can you, uh, can someone unmute and just say if if, if my screen is uh, visible? Yes, sir. We can see. Okay. Cool. So guys, how are we going to do this? Okay, so I'll tell you the plan. Okay, so just give me some time so that let me discuss the complete plan. I'll be discussing the basic Tableau with all of you. So for the first two, three classes, it will be basic Tableau just to understand the interface of the two. Okay, after two or three classes, we'll be moving to advanced Tableau. Just entering, it's like the process of entering into advanced Tableau will be three to four more classes. Okay, and then remaining eight or to 10 classes would be entirely based on advanced Tableau. Doubts are welcome any point of time. Uh, what you are there on the WhatsApp, you can call me, okay, prior uh, to my information. Okay, I'll be sending you a lot of questions for interview preparation as well. 
and I'll be preparing you for the mock certification exam as well. People who are interested to go for Tableau desktop exam will be preparing for them as well. Okay. Why me as the database guru? That is the name of my uh, no, uh, small farm. Okay. Again, I'll provide you the accurate training. Okay. I will uh, give you the mentoring support. I will give you the career guidance. If in case you plan to switch your career from one uh, you know, uh, module to second one, okay, or one domain to second one, I'll be helping you on that. I may not give you the job guarantee. Okay. I'll be frank to you, but yes, I can refer you with, you know, lots of people because I have lots of WhatsApp group associated with my, you know, students, they keep coming to me. You know, I need to provide them with the students who can have a good hold of Tableau, who work with certain other, uh, you know, technologies as well. So I may refer you to a couple of interviews. Okay. That is, I can do. No notes will be provided to you in the class. It will be completely practical knowledge. Okay. In all the classes, we'll be working on the projects. Okay. Six to 10 mini hand or major projects. If you miss any of the classes, guys, make sure you look at the video because I'll be providing you the recording session that will be with you forever. Okay. They won't, I won't revoke the access. Okay. Though I have to pay for it, but that's all right. I won't revoke the access. We'll give you the certification and interview preparation that will be there. Okay. And uh, mock test will be there to get you the confidence for global certification. Okay. Now let's understand what is data visualization and why data visualization and BI. BI is the business intelligence. Okay. I would like to show you a data. Okay. So let me show you a data and let's see. Let's look at this. Guys, do you see this data? Okay. So I have the ordered ID here. I have the ship mode here. I have the customer name here. I have the segment here. We have this data available. Though it's a small set of data. Okay. And now what are we supposed to do? We need to, okay. We just, just give me a second. I, I don't know what happened today. I am getting two desktop. I don't know how to get one desktop. It's just creating problem for me. Just bear with me. Okay, so I'll just go here. I'll have to open the PPT again. Sir? Yes. Before we start jumping to your data and just want to check, are we going to see like which version of Tableau that has to be installed and how it's going to be? Yes, yes. I, I, I'm going to tell you. Don't worry. Okay. I'm going to tell you. Don't worry because I went and installed it. That's why I'm just checking. That's all right. That's all right. Bye. Thank okay. you. Yes. So guys, I show you the data. The data is this. Okay. Now, guys, let's say it says how many customers are there in each region. What is the percentage profit by customer segment? What is the percentage of customers by ship mode? Which state has the highest salary across state? Okay, so we need to find out the answer for these questions. Now, if we go to the Excel, that will uh, uh, you know that will take a lot of time that will take a lot of time to find out the number of customer to find out if that to number of customer in each region the worst part is number of customer in each region so that will okay that will take a lot of time now go here if i were give the answer of all this question in this view i hope that'll be very easy see the number of customers if you just look at the number of customers for South, I've got 16 for central. I've got eight for East. I've got two for West. I've got two. profit by customer segment. Look at this. I created a kind of a stack bar chart. 66.54% home office, 18.46 corporate, et cetera, et cetera. I could show you which state has the highest one. It shows that Kentucky, which is darker in color. So the color also shows color also highlights the highest one. And the number also shows the highest one. Okay. Plus shift mode by the customer. So I could see the standard class contributes the most according to the size as well as the number. Even if I don't have the number, I can actually use the size to tell that my client that standard class contributes the most. Now, guys, would you believe this type of view can be created within a fraction of a second? I hardly take 15 seconds to create such kind of view. I would say one minute, if in case you need to format, you need to use titles, you need to use border, you need to use certain, you need to write certain text, you know, you need to give certain, uh, you know, titles and boundaries that may take some time. But if in case you just need to create a basic chart that can be created within a fraction of a second. Okay. Now, so this is what can be done. Okay. If these answer were supposed to, you know, take out in Excel, 
that would have surely taken some time you may have to create the pivot you may have to group by you know customer by region then you may have to count the values that may have taken a lot of time but in tableau that can be done in you know fraction of seconds okay now let's see which industry requires data visualization so guys every almost every industry talk about manufacturing automobile finance insurance legal tourism education every industry that you encounter need you know works on data visualization every industry okay now these are certain testimonials okay by certain companies i am going to share this ppt with you so you can go through it but yes i'll just take one it's a pepsico cut analysis time by up to 90% of tableau what does that mean if in case they are they they used to spend 10 hours in a in an uh, an analysis task now using tableau they are just doing it in 1 hour okay so the the analysis time has cut up to by 90% that is just a kind of a you know i would say a, a testimony what are the tools available in market for data visualization so as you see on the screen i could say uh, click sense we have tipco we have w we have power bi we have jasper sort we have a lot of other tools that works on data visualization every tool has their own limitations okay now why tableau it's important tableau is a bi tool for visually analyzing the data first thing okay user can actually create okay shareable dashboards when i say shareable dashboard i can share that particular dashboard to anyone inside or outside country inside or outside organization okay and that to not the simple dashboard when i say dashboard it's an interactive dashboard what does interactive means i can actually have a conversation with dashboard boss i have i'll ask dashboard if i click here tell me the contribution for this particular in the whole dashboard tell me the you know uh, about this one so i can just click on that particular dashboard that makes it interactive we can connect to files relational and big data sources okay to acquire data this software also allows data blending when i say data blending you can actually mix data you can actually mix data okay and uh, real time collaboration what does that mean real time collaboration you can actually work on the data which is getting updated simultaneously for example if you have uh you know i would say 5000 records at uh, 130 so your tableau will show 5000 records at 130 that is called real time collaboration used by business academic researchers and many governments it is also positioned as the leader for bi tool okay in analytics platform though this data is a bit old but yes even in 2020 tableau and power bi are at the top okay power bi and tableau are in severe competition it, power bi is just you know Uh, a bit you know ahead in terms of i would say uh, the prices plus microsoft you know provides the tool to all the uh, companies who use microsoft product that to free of cost that makes it you know uh, available at you know ease okay these are certain uh, distinction between uh, tools power bi clicksense and tableau so a tableau in terms of functionality is perfect usability perfect data connectivity is just awesome okay security wise they are working on it when i say security wise it means if in case a, a tableau file is lying on your system okay someone can open it and with, so there is no uh, you know a, a, a logic for password and all there is uh, you know there is a requirement okay so security wise they are working on it market presence is awesome for if i talk about clicksense and uh, other uh, power bi so they are still working on their interface and their other features the tableau features the most important one the first one even if in case you any of you does not know anything about programming you can be a champ in tableau because tableau does not read any sort of coding language the best part is that okay it does not even need a complex software setup you just need to download a file from tableau.com i will teach you how to do that okay and you are okay to go for the analysis you can use different tools like color trend line chart graph etc okay very little script to be written when i say very little script to be written it means whenever you plan to create any calculation all then you need to type it okay for example i need to multiply sales into uh, expense or sales into profit so i may have to type it there in a box sales multiply by profit that is what this script is all about blend diverse data set it allows us to blend relational semi structured raw data sources in real time when i say blend suppose a data comes from uh, any of the source like sql another data comes from sp hana both are disparate both are different you can actually use data from both of them real time okay 
it works on all kind of device laptop desktop tab okay uh, they are just features okay where we need to so we have certain limitation but yes tableau uh, kind of the file works on all kind of device real time collaboration it means even if your data is getting updated tableau will show you the updated numbers okay just refresh okay if in case you are using manual file you have to refresh it if you are using you know uh, databases which is getting updated tableau will refresh it automatically tableau also provide you centralized data okay that is called tableau server okay tableau server is again the second vertical of tableau which comes under the admin portion where you work on the permissions where you work on security where you work on the creating sites and all okay and tableau server also provides you an area where you can actually have your complete visualization data sources everything it's like a cloud i'm sure you uh, if in case you don't know cloud cloud is basically a virtual location for the companies to manage their data their databases okay because our machines are of very small size as compared when we talk about data okay so machine cannot handle that big amount of data so uh, uh, there is a, a place called tableau server tableau server manages the place there and it allows organizations to use tableau server as their you know databases to to store their data to store their visuals to uh, share their visuals to anywhere you know inside the organization or outside the organization i'll give you an overview about tableau server as well okay tools available in market we have tableau server we have tableau online okay we have uh, uh, this uh, uh tableau desktop that is what we are using tableau mobile tableau reader a bit about everything when we say uh, tableau desktop tableau desktop is the one that everyone uses okay so if most 90% people uses tableau desktop okay that is what used in the organization to create visuals okay and uh, it is the one that uh, has all the features second is tableau server it is only used by organization you me individual cannot go for tableau server it's only by the organization okay tableau server uh, allows organization to use the virtual space for their data for their visualization okay if in case you plan to use tableau server so you'll be using the second vertical of tableau server which is called tableau online now what is tableau online for example i am a freelancer okay i work for a client which is based out in russia okay or us or uk and if i need to showcase my visualization to the person but the data is confidential so i really cannot do that on the email that i create a file and send it over to him what i'll do i'll go to i'll approach tableau i'll say alas tableau give me a kind of a small space in you know tableau server which is called tableau online and in in that space i can have my all visuals i can create a link to provide it to the other person they can click on the link and they will be able to see my visualization only people those who have link that is email id and password okay will be able to see that particular you know visual so that is tableau online it's for it, uh, individuals as well as the organizations okay tableau uh, mobile again under tableau mobile you can actually view your visuals okay it's the uh, app used in the uh, uh, play store tableau reader there are companies there are management they use tableau reader because if i have 10 people in my organization one is manager and there are nine tableau user so they'll just take nine tableau user they won't take for the manager because manager does not work on tableau you just need to see the file you just need to read the file so what they provide him with the tableau reader which is free of cost what is tableau reader it is just a platform to read tableau files that is it you cannot make any changes you just can read the files now understand if in case you plan to read excel file what you need is the microsoft excel if you don't have microsoft excel you won't you won't be able to read the excel file same way if in case you don't have tableau you will not be able to read tableau files so either you have tableau complete setup or you have tableau reader okay there you can read the tableau files then we have tableau public tableau public is the free interface provided by tableau for people to practice their skills to showcase their skills it's a complete web interface okay you can download it in your system but again it has several limitations it has several limitation we'll talk about it as well okay now this is the uh, uh, you know architect you can go to tableaupublic.com here you can if in case you are using a, a mac you can use this if you are using a window this is the complete you know uh, prerequisite i'll be sharing this ppt with you 
so that you can work uh, accordingly. Tableau architecture and scalability. Again, this is the technical part of Tableau, which I'm going to explain. Uh, I am going to explain you after, you know, I would say 20, 30 minutes because we'll, we'll jump to Tableau tool at that point of time. As of now, I'm not using the tool. So just bear with me for this. Okay. Still, it just says these are the Tableau extensions like .twb, .awbx. And even if I try to explain it to you, I'm sure people who do not have prior knowledge, they will not be able to understand it. That's why I'm not doing it right now. I can talk about the data type. Like for every programming language, we have data type. For example, if I talk about SAS, we have date value, we have integer value, we have character value that SAS can read, okay? Same way, Tableau can read six type of data. Tableau can read string, okay? Which can be showed under quotes, maybe double code or single code. Tableau can read number. Number could be anything, even odd, a decimal, floating, any value. Whole value, integer value, Tableau can read any value. Tableau can read Boolean value as well. When I say Boolean value, it is true and false, okay? We'll talk about it. Tableau can read date and date time value. Okay, so both date and date time value can be read by Tableau. And Tableau also read the geographical values. Okay, once we have country, state, city, zip code, pin code, Tableau read this type of data as well. Okay, now here I come. The problem says my first bar chart. So I'm just, you know, kind of a using a small scenario for you people to understand, you know, uh, how we work on Tableau. People who do not have any knowledge, okay, you not need to worry about it today. I am not going to, you know, basically teaching you that this is what I'm just going to show you a lot of things. Okay. So I'm going to just show you this in Tableau, right? So here, yes, guys, just can you uh, unmute anyone unmute and see, tell me if the PPT is visible, if the business problem is visible. Yes. It's visible. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, I don't see the zoom. It's like a, as I told you, I have, I'm having two screens. I don't know why. I don't see my Zoom icon here. So I have to go to, again, there. No problem. Screen. No problem. Okay. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> so guys, this business case study says, it's the end of the financial year and it's time for annual bonuses. The store operates in three regions and only the top performing employee in each region qualifies for a bonus. Find out which three employees are eligible to get bonuses for this year. Employees are measured on total sales. You also need to analyze about those employees who are not able to perform well in all three regions. Okay. The manager does not have Tableau. So what all ways you can share a report to tell about your analysis. This is what needs to be done. It's just a simple mini project for you people. Okay. Okay. Before we go there, I would like to show you the tool okay so how does the tableau tool looks like okay so i'll show you the tool uh, yes sachin sharma asked my question uh, can tableau dashboard go yes tableau dashboard can go into mobile as well okay now this is the tableau icon this is the tableau icon that we are you know after okay i'm using a 2021.1 20, okay i uh updated my Tableau two months ago. Okay. So once I open it, okay, I'll just open it. Give me a second. It's opening. <clears throat> so it's Tableau desktop professional edition. Tableau desktop professional edition. Now it asked me to update. Okay. There's maybe there. Yes. So I can update to 20. The latest, the one who asked me for the latest one, the latest one that which is which is uh, uh, in the market is 2021.3. Okay, so I'll update it just today and we'll be using 2021.3. Okay, so what happens for this update? I'll tell you. Whenever there is even a small change in, you know, uh, in Tableau interface, small change, okay, it may be visible or may not be visible to you. Tableau gives an update. So once you download Tableau, it may give you update every after five days, six days, seven days, you may have to update your Tableau. Okay. So that uh, needs to be done. So guys, this is the first screen of Tableau. This is the first screen of Tableau. Once you open Tableau, you'll see this screen. On the left side, this is called the connection pane. What is a connection pane? There you'll start your, uh, you know, uh, connecting to data, okay? So either you are using a flat file, 
For example, if you're using an Excel file, you'll be clicking here. If you use a CSV file, you need to go to text file because uh, CSV file, files are read under text file in Tableau. Okay, they look like Excel, but they are comma, separate values. Once you have comma, the Tableau reads under text file. If you have the JSON data, you can click here. If you have the access data, you will click here. If you have the PDF file, you can click here. Just need to click here, find out the PDF and just open that, okay? And if in case you are using a database or a server, okay, you'll be clicking here. So you can click, you can connect to Microsoft SQL, okay? You can click to uh, MySQL, you can Oracle, Amazon Redshift, everything, okay? And now guys, if in case you want to see the power of Tableau, just click on more. Once you click on more, you'll be able to see Tableau actually can connect to these many databases. Look at this, Google Ads, Google Analytics, MariaDB, Marketo, MySQL, OneDrive, Oracle, Splunk, Snowflake, Single Store, SP HANA, Vertica, IBM, IDB2, IBM Insight, Apache Drill, Anaplan. Okay, I'm sure most of the ones you may have not heard about it. Okay, Cognito, uh, Denido, Databricks. So different companies use different types of database. Okay, we not need to know these database. It's just that once we go into the company to work, on the database, they will train you. Don't worry. They are not going to ask you to straight away connect this. They will train you on the database and then you can connect everything that you do. It will automatically come to Tableau. And even if in case your data is not, even if in case your data is not, uh, database, sorry, is not visible here, you can use ODBC and JDBC to connect to your database. ODBC goes for open database connection. JDBC goes for Java database connection. There are times when companies create their own databases, okay, using their you know, own uh, developer and all, they just create their own database, okay? They may be uh, limited to that, to that particular startup or organization. So Tableau would not take that. But yes, if in case you want to connect your Tableau to that particular database, you can do that. What you need is the driver the DSN number or the port number, these are certain technical requirement if you want to connect to the particular database, okay? The additional configuration, additional information are required. Maybe the driver, okay? Maybe the server, the port number, the database number, and maybe the authentication as well. So in essence, or if I conclude, Tableau can connect to any of the database. Tableau can connect to any of the database provided you should have the, the driver, okay? If the particular driver is not there, you may not be able to connect to any of the uh, database, okay? Now, third part comes under saved data source. Now, saved data source. So saved is a different thing. You know what is saved, but what is a data source? Now guys, if I talk about any Excel file, which is lying outside in my desktop, so it will be an Excel file. It will be an Excel file, but as soon as I connect that Excel file to Tableau or as soon as Tableau start reading data from that particular file, that becomes data source in Tableau. So that is the source for data to create visualization. Okay. So once a Tableau start reading data, it becomes source of data for Tableau to create visualization. That is why it is called a data source. And it says saved data source. That means they are saved in Tableau. So example, if in case people who have worked with SAS, okay, you see libraries are there, okay? So there are particular libraries in the SAS. Same way we have this data source. It is just for you to practice any visualization. So if in case you want to practice anything, you can do that. I will talk about it in detail later on, okay? So let me just, you know, I'm just trying to give you an interface uh, view, okay? So here we have the same data source. Now let's go here. This is the uh, second part where this is, this is called the saved workspace. So whenever you work on Tableau, you create any visualization, okay? Then this will be saved there, okay? So if you save any file in your desktop, the shortcut comes here. You just need to click on that particular file and this file will be opened directly. I'm not going to do that as of now, okay? These are certain sample workbook, again, for you to practice. This is the third part where you can actually you know, have all the announcement by Tableau. So like, for example, new update, for example, new uh, uh, Tableau forum, new Tableau submit is there, conference is there. So they will just keep announcing a lot of things there. That is the first part of Tableau, okay? Now, 
if i go to the second page of tableau okay so let me just show you once you click on excel file suppose you connect to any of the excel file so i'll just take one excel file right there let me take any excel file okay i'll just take i'll just take this excel file okay so this excel file has three table list of orders orders breakdown and sales target okay so this excel file has three table and i'll show you the excel file if you if in case you want let me do that for you i'll show you the excel file i'll go here that is the excel file so if i click it here why does it come here nevertheless okay so this is the excel file so it has list of orders it has orders breakdown it has sales target list of orders there are three tabs here so the uh, whatever the number of tables that you have in your excel file or csv or whatever file that you are using or whatever database that you are using the same number of tables will be visible in tableau okay the same number of tables will be visible in tableau right now now i go here so i've got list of orders orders breakdown and sales targets guys as of now i am not taking the one for the project okay it just i'm showing you okay how tableau works for next 15 20 minutes then i'll come to that particular file first i'll give you an idea now you can use any of the tables here okay so you have used list of orders whatever data that you see here uh, that you see here is of list of orders you can remove it either from here remove or you can just drag it back over here you can just take orders breakdown it will be shown straight away here if you you want to remove it just go and remove it if in case you want to use sales target here just see sales target here you want to remove it just click here and remove it so in other sense you can use any of the tables for analysis even if in case you plan to join two tables all together you can do that in tableau and that too very easily just list of orders click here simply place orders break down here and tableau creates an automatic join between these two table which is list of orders and order break down on the basis of order id so order id is the is a field which is present in both list of orders and orders break down and tableau place a join between the two uh, tables okay so at this point of time the data that you see here is made up of two one is list of order one is orders break down how can i confirm it do you see it says list of orders 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 and if i just drag it to the right you say orders break down orders break down orders break down orders break down so this is what we have from both the tables okay the default join which is appeared on the table is the inner join ramya that is an inner join which is appeared here that inner join can be changed to left join or right join or full outer join on the basis of requirement that you have so whatever is the requirement you can change the join according to that we'll be talking about join later in the session where i'll we'll talk i'll show you the data i'll show you the joins and everything okay so as if now the answer to your question is the default join is the inner join right now not even two even if in case you plan to join the third table here that can be also done guys see that can also be done you can actually extend the table towards the right you can actually extend the table towards the right so if you just go here you will see the sales targets come here automatically so if in case you plan to extend the table towards the right you will be using a join okay now another one another question what if i plan to extend my tables to the bottom we can ex we, we can extend the table towards the right can't we extend the tables towards the bottom the answer is yes we can extend the table towards the bottom as well for example if i plan to place the orders break down below list of order i'll simply use it and just place it here where you said says drag table to union so if i simply place the table here tableau will just append the orders break down below list of orders okay i'll reiterate tableau will append the orders break down under list of order and this will extend the table from top to bottom that is called union in tableau okay sachin sharma if in case you plan to join there are 32 tables that you can join one go okay now i'll go here okay i'll go here so again in this if in case you plan to place more table just go and edit union 
So you have list of orders below that you have breakdown, then you can place anything, then you can place anything. And this way you can talk about union. Again, guys, I'm not going into detail. Believe me, I'm not going to detail. It just, I'm just uh, showing you the interface. When we start uh, maybe tomorrow, we'll definitely get into details for every single option. Okay. My funda is to cover the length today. Okay. Today and tomorrow. Hanji, please. Yes. Go ahead, please. Yeah, when you are appending, uh, when you are putting this table down, this first table, that means you are appending it, right? Exactly. Uh, okay. I am appending, and again, guys, I am appending it, but that is not necessary. That the union which comes out from these two table is the best union. That is not at all compulsory because union in Tableau follows certain rules. Not in Tableau union. Uh, wherever you append the data, there are certain rules and norms that needs to be uh, you know taken care of. For example, the uh, column structure or the table structure should be the same to get the best union. What does that mean? For example, in table A, you have 10 columns. In table B, there should be 10 columns. Then only you'll get the best union. Secondly, the column that you are trying to append should have the same column name. If you have customer in table A, there should be customer in table B. Even if you have customers in table B, Tableau will not append these two columns. Tableau will create two different columns. One is for customer, one is for customer. So that would not be a best union. Third point, maybe we can say that the data type should be the same. So suppose you have uh, integer in first column, there should be integer in second column as well. Then only Tableau will give you the best union. It's just uh, an idea about union. Okay. So I can just union the table here as well. Right. So I, if in case you plan to remove the union, just go here. Okay. And close it. Okay. Just apply it and your union will be removed out of it. Now let's go here. So this is the second portion of Tableau. This is the second portion or second page. I would say where you have the data source. It shows you live connection. You can use a live connection or an extract connection. Just two minutes for live connection, extract connection. Live connection is when, when you are connected to a real time data. That means you are connected to a database, which is getting updated. That is called a live connection. And if you don't want to go to live connection, you can use an extract. What is an extract? Extract is a flat file. Tableau, whatever data is read by or is read by Tableau, Tableau creates a copy of that data. So whatever data is read by Tableau, Tableau creates a copy of that data and Tableau saves that copy in your system so that you can work on the extract file. Extract means static. It's not changing anymore. It means Tableau is now not connected to the database. It's connected to that particular file, which you have taken as an extract. Okay. There are advantages of live connection. There are disadvantages of live connection. There are advantages of extract. There are disadvantages of extract. We can use live and extract according to the requirement. For example, if in case we need the updated numbers or I am working for the uh, meteorological department. I need the weather, weather forecast. I need to know that there is a tornado which is traveling at a speed of 2,500 kilometers from Alaska. How long would it take to reach to the you know, Central America or I would say the particular part of America? So I would need the coordinates for even for seconds. That in five seconds, what is the exact location of that particular tornado? Okay, so there I'll be using a live connection. Yes, okay. Secondly, yes, Ramya. Secondly, when we talk about the, you know, I would say the, I would say stock market, stock market, you know, how fast, how quickly the stock market, the prices drops and down everything. So there also we need the live connection. But again, guys, when you use the live connection, these are the, I just talked about the advantages, but there are certain disadvantages as well. What are the disadvantages? When you use a live connection, Make sure you connect to a good internet. If your internet is not well, your live connection will make you cry. Believe me. Okay. It made me cry quite a time ago. Okay. It will make you cry because your tableau will just simply show loading, 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 loading. Just simply show loading. Problem. Secondly, if you use a live connection, maybe the table that you are working with or working to may be used by 100 people of the same organization. 
okay because you are connected to a live database the table that you are working may be used by 100 people of the same organization for some different kind of i would say analysis so again the traveling or the processing becomes slow there also you will face the problem okay so server occupancy internet speed there are things that matters when you have live connection okay in extract connection the speed is perfect because the data is saved in your machine okay only you are accessing the data everything is fast data preparation is fast filters are fast calculations are fast everything but the biggest drawback is you will not get the updated number okay so for what uh, the time that you ta have taken the extract for example you have taken the extract at 1 pm at certain date it will show you the number till 1 pm though we have the leverage to update that extract that will be discussed later on okay but yes this is live and extract connection i am sure yes people are we clear so far just uh, message me yes or no so far anurag banti chetan dev nagarjun nirmala pankaj prasanna ramya sachin sandeep shiv are we clear so far your simple text let me move ahead okay ओके निर्मला ओके प्रसन्ना ओके बंटी ओके सचिन चेतन ऑल राइट कूल अगेन गाइस यू मे नॉट हैव मोर क्वेश्चन टुडे बिकॉज़ टुडे यू आर जस्ट यू नो अ काइंड ऑफ अ कवरिंग द इंटरफेस यू मे हैव क्वेश्चंस इन द फर्दर क्लासेस बट यस इवन इफ इन केस एनी टाइम यू हैव क्वेश्चंस अनम्यूट योरसेल्फ एंड टॉक टू मी फील फ्री टू आस्क क्वेश्चंस ओके सो दैट इज द सेकंड पेज ऑफ टैब वंस यू आर डन विद ऑल द वर्क हियर will simply come to the third page of tableau where we have our data to go for the analysis now guys this is the place where we start our analysis this is called the you know uh, the uh, workspace okay and uh, here we have rows columns pages filters marks everything okay now guys understand this point do you have this data here okay so i will just go back okay and i will just uh, take just give me a second i'll go to data source i'll take a join okay i'll go and take this orders back down here let's take a join data okay and i'll go to sheet now now guys whenever you uh, connect to any of the uh, data source what does tableau do tableau whatever field that you have whatever field that you have tableau divides your field into two major portion and these major portion are called dimensions and measures in tableau these are called dimensions and measures in tableau what are dimension all the qualitative data all the data which can be uh, divided into different parts which can be bifurcated which can be slice and dice is called the dimension okay and all the set of uh, uh, fields which contain the numeric value which will be used for calculation like addition subtraction multiplication come under measure see the measure itself says the numeric values okay so we have measures and dimensions we have measures and dimensions in tableau so for example city country customer name order date region segment she okay these are all called dimensions yes the categorical data is called the dimension absolutely right okay and the numerical data that is the quantitative data so again if in case you have uh, you know talk, you have read about data data comes under data has of two categories of two categories one is called the qualitative one is called the quantitative qualitative just contain the you know names okay the classes the you know the division the division of uh, you know values okay but when we talk about the quantitative it's the number number of you know students i would say the number of classes okay it's see classes are different we have uh, a b c 4 5 7 classes but how many classes 5 7 10 20 these are measures so classes a b c comes under dimension and how many classes 5 7 10 15 20 comes under measure yes they are absolutely right okay so this is what we have now guys you can simply drag and drop anything anything to columns and rows i am just randomly doing that see i can drag it here see i can drag it here see i can drag and drop sorry i can drag and drop it here same way i can drag and drop it here i can drag and drop it anywhere wherever you want you can drag and drop anything anywhere okay this is what we are doing now 
I'll be closing this. Okay. And I'm now I'll be going to my, I would say, uh, the project. Now let's go to project. So I've given you a fair idea about Tableau. So I'll be going to my project. Okay. Where is my project? My project. Here is my project. Okay. So I'll just open the PPT again and it will take me to that particular screen. Okay. So guys, the store operates in three regions and only the top performing employee in each region qualifies for a bonus. We need to find out the three employees which are eligible to get a bonus. Okay. Now let's see the data first. Okay. I've just made it small just for you to you know understand it. This is the set of data. So I've got the order date, I've got the regions, I've got the representatives, I've got different items here, I've got different units, okay, sold by the single person, and I've got the unit price. Now guys, if I were to solve the same case study in Excel, first I need to find out the total sales. So what I'll be doing, I'll be writing here total sales in Excel, and then I'll be multiplying this with this, and then I'll be dragging it to the bottom, okay, and then finding out the total sales. That take consume a lot of time. I will not be doing that, okay? Then again, okay, so this is the data. So if I were to bifurcate, guys, this data into dimension measure, so I'm sure you'll be able to, yes, uh, Bunty, unmute yourself and tell me what fields come under dimension, what fields come under measures. Quick fast, Bunty. Over to you. Yeah, so region uh, rep items, uh, these come under measures and mm -hmm. sorry, dimensions mm -hmm. and units and unit price come under measures. Absolutely. Even ordered, you missed order date, order date, which contain the alphanumeric data, it also comes under dimension. Okay. Dimension. Because you okay. never use order date for calculation, uh, you know, uh, part. Okay. But yes, mm -hmm. uh, measures are units and unit price and dimensions are order date, region, representative and items. Thank you, uh, Bunty. Please mute yourself. Okay. Now, guys, I'll attach Sir, this. Yes, please. Uh, just a quick question. Any numerical value will come into measures. That's This is the understanding I have. And anything apart from uh, numerical data that will fall into the dimensions. Is that correct? Absolutely. Absolutely. Or is there an exception to it? There are not exceptions. But yes, there are different mm. nature of these dimensional measures. Okay, so we'll talk about it. For example, dimension has two nature. One is discrete and one is continuous. Same goes with measures. Measure has two nature. One is discrete and continuous. So it's a bit, you know, a deep term, but we'll be discussing it in the further classes. But as of now, what you said is absolutely right. Okay. All right. Okay. Again, guys, you know, kind apologies for the ones if you ask question, which is, uh, you know, related to the later, uh, I would say the portion. Okay. So just uh, bear with me. Okay. Now I'll go to W. Let's say I'll open W. This here. Someone asked me a question. Yes, Chetan, don't worry. I will give you the data set. I will give you everything. You not need to worry. Whatever I am, even when I send you something, so you have to send me the replica of whatever I'm creating here. Don't worry. I'll give you the hands-on for every single class. We'll work on the hands-on. Apart from the one that we are doing in the session, we will be working on certain projects as well. Okay. I'll go here. I'll go to text file. Okay. I'll go to this, uh, which is the first class and I'll just select see CSV file. I'll select this file. Okay. I've got the second page, which contains the data source guys. And I'll go here to my sheet. See, this is what Bunty said. Items, order date, region, and reps come under measures and unit unit price come under dimensions. Okay. And if in case you want to see the dimension of measures written over here, just drag anything a bit. See, I just lifted this uh, a field called rep and it, it tells me that above line, all our dimensions and below line, all our measures. Even if you play, just lift it up. See, it says dimensions and measures, right? Now guys, what are we after? We need to find out the employee, best employee, well-performed employee in every single region. So what I'll do, 
I'll just pick my region and place it here. Okay. I get to see that there are three regions. One is called central, one is called east, and one is called west. Okay. Now let me see what exactly is the complete, you know, a unit sold by these regions. I can do, I can just place units over here. See, it creates a simple bar chart for three regions that is central, east, and west. Now, guys, here comes the default nature of Tableau. Whenever, whenever you drag any measure to view, any measure to view, Tableau by default applies an aggregation. Okay. Tableau by default applies an aggregation here. Okay. So I just have taken units. So Tableau have summed up all the units. So it means in central, there are total 1199 units sold by uh, central people. If you just hover into the second part, there are 691 units sold by, uh, you know, East region. And if you over, over here, then it means there are 231 total units sold by West region. Okay. Now, if in case I want to see those values on the labels, what needs to be done? Just put the units on two labels. And you can, you can see that 1199691231 here. Now, I don't want to see this blue color. Okay. If you want to change the color, go here and change the color. Okay, you can make it anything of your choice. There are n number of colors there uh, present here. Okay, so you can do anything. Or if in case you want to show different colors for central, different colors for east, different for west, that can be done as well. Just place region over here and just place it right here. So you have the region. That means under central, this is blue color, east, orange, west, red, just see, this is the legend. This is called the color legend. And Tableau gives you a color legend. That means the information about the colors that we have used in your view. So Tableau tells you that central has blue color, east has orange color, west has red color. If you click any of the one, it highlights that particular region in the view. Okay. Now, this is just the region. Now, I need to see that the uh, how uh, representatives you know uh, 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 sells units here so what i'll do i'll just drag and drop representatives over here see once i do it i get to see that my 199 are further bifurcated into different parts let's see i'll press control z i've got 199 now i press control y i see this is the 199 i press control z I have got 691. So this is, oh, sorry, this is, this is this 691. Okay. And this is the last one. So I could see that under central, these are the ones under east, these are the ones under west, these are the ones. I can make it a bit this. Again, you may highlight the central one, you may highlight the east one, you may highlight the west one. Now, guys, can I give my bonus to Alex? In central, can I give my bonus to Richard in uh, East? Can I give my bonus to James in West? Yes or no? Zoom chat, please answer me. Only yes or no. Then I'll pick up the people to answer my question. Quick, fast, guys. Quick, fast, quick, fast. Anurag says yes, Dave says no, Sachin says yes, Prasanna says no, Banti says no, Sachin says no, we can't now, okay, very nice. Okay, Anurag, you says yes, unmute yourself please. Yeah. Why did you say yes? Just wanted to know, don't worry, I'm just trying to discuss. Because, uh, because we know that in each, re in each region which Rep has performed the best. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So according to the sales, he has. Yeah. But this is not, brother, this is not the total number of units. This is just the sum of units. What oh, if uh, hmm. units the LX is selling has the least number? It will automatically go down. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So apart from listening, active, you have to be very proactive. Okay. So again, guys, we have still need to multiply the units with unit price. Now in Excel, we can do that, you know, in the next cell, how can we do that in W? Simply go here and create this calculated field. Okay. Now W becomes our good friend. You know, and on the first class, it will become your good friend. How will it become your good friend? 
it will never let you commit mistake okay so as soon as you plan to write units as you write u w gives an option w ask you boss what do you want to write i say i want to write units click here now what do you want to do i want to multiply what do you want to multiply units with unit price okay and w tells me this calculation is absolutely valid that is why it is called a smart and intelligent tool if if i commit mistake let's say i write 7 random 7 w say boss you are doing a mistake i would not let you do that that is the beauty of w guys okay so until unless your calculation is uh, syntactically correct w will never let you do that and here the best part is people who are not familiar with you know certain i would say queries of sql will help you a lot so at times people commit, commit mistake while writing if else query case query the basic queries w will help you in that right as soon as i click okay or rather i would give it a name let me give it a name that is basically a total sales okay i'll say okay w creates a new field which is again because the result is a number w gives me it under measure w gives me total sale so what i'll do i will replace this sum units by total sales and place it right here and w gives me total sales so see my bars the length of my bars have actually increased but the numbers are still the same dev over to you why do i see the same number uh because you have got uh, your units under labels so Absolutely. now you will be updating Great. that i Great. believe wonderful thank you okay because guys i have not updated my labels i have just updated the bars so i need to update my labels as well so what i'll do i'll place total sums here as well and i see the updated number okay as if now it's like just uh, you know something is high something is low okay it's not in the particular order i can just use this or this to put them in an order so if i put it in order i could see matthew in central uh, sales has the maximum susan in east is the maximum and james in west got the maximum anurag is that clear to you yeah sir how had you opened that calculations tab see there are many ways you can go here create calculated field you can just click here go here create calculated field okay you can go to analysis create calculated field so there are many ways you simply i guess simply right click here and you can just create calculated field so there are many ways you can don't worry anurag you will be able to learn that after two three classes absolutely fine okay so don't take tensions now this is what i've created now i need to send it to a manager okay so if i need to send it to a manager my report should look good okay so i'll let me remove this i don't want this okay it looks fine okay what i'll do i'll go here i'll take the border okay i can make this bold i can just clear you may not understand certain step because i am doing it very fast and reason being i'm doing very fast because i need to cover a lot of things today just to give you an idea so don't ask me how did you go there how did you go there i will teach you everything it's just an introduction i want to show you that if i need to send this to my manager how would i send it to my manager how would be the last you know dashboard to look like that is why i'm just doing it very fast okay so just bear with me so i'll go to access bold okay and again if in case i want to uh, make this bold i'll go here i'll again format it headers i'll make it bold this way okay now central i'll just go here and format it okay and go to bold this way and again i can give it a title let's say let me give to uh, 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 annual bonuses that is for two it's sufficient i'll go here i'll make it 20 i'll just go here i'll go here i can it's like editor so like the way you used in you know word can be done here annual bonuses spelling is mistake sorry annual okay now apply okay even i can make it better for my title shading okay i'll go here i can give it a border as well and i just click this okay 
my dashboard will go this way. My dashboard will go this way, which looks completely professional. Okay. Now, this is the dashboard. Now, the first question was, who all are the one who's supposed to get the bonuses? So I can tell Matthew, Susan, and James are the one who were supposed to get the bonuses. Okay. Secondly, now, secondly, who are the ones who actually need to work on? Okay. So if you see Rachel in this central, Nick in East 537, and Thomas in West, they are the ones they need to work on their performance because they are actually, but again, uh, Thomas is okay, but again, Rachel and Nick are the ones, they are actually, you know, uh, very low. So they need to work on their performance, right? So I will share this with my manager. Now, my manager does not have Tableau. That is the big concern. If in case we had Tableau, I simply would have gone here like the way we do in Excel file, save as in the Excel, uh, in the Tableau format and would have, you know, sent it to the uh, manager. But he does not have Tableau. That is the big problem. So, how can I send it to him? I can just right click, copy the image. Okay. So what all do you want to copy? I want to copy the title. The title is here. I want to copy the view. The view is here. I want to copy the caption. Now, I don't see the caption here. Okay. Someone asked me a question. Yes. Save image. Okay. So uh, again, so guys, caption is not there. So even if in case you want to see the caption, what is caption? Caption is here. I can just click. Tableau gives you an automatic caption. Sum of total sales for each rep broken down by region. Okay. Color shows details about region. Okay. And the marks are labeled by sum of total sales. That is the automatic one. Tableau is enough smart to understand all this stuff. And you can actually edit it. So if in case you want to write anything, something of your own. So You can write more information about your view in this sheet. I would not say to call it a dashboard in this sheet. Okay. Apply. Okay. See, it will be updated. Don't want to see it here. You can just hide it card. So, but if in case you want to see it in the, the one that you are sending it to manager, Tableau will first ask him. Color legend was the one which I just, you know, hidden, okay, which I just hid it, okay. So if you want to see the color legend, which I think no, not required because I can see the central, east and west clearly. So I not need that. I'll just copy that. I'll copy that. I'll open a word file, okay. I'll create a blank word file and I'll just simply, what I'll do, I'll paste it right here. See, see the power. You can paste it here and just send it to your mind. That is the first thing that can be done. Okay. I'll close it. Now, manager says, can you WhatsApp me the quickly? Whatever you created is in a hurry. He said, oh, just WhatsApp me the whatever you have created. So instead of taking the photo of this, I'll simply go to this worksheet. I'll export this into an image. Okay. Same thing. I'll export it. I'll place it in my desktop sheet two. And if you just go back to my desktop, I'll get the sheet two. Where is the sheet two? I hope this is the same desktop. Oh God, this is sheet one. Uh, do you see sheet two? I'm sorry guys, this, I'll make this clear today. But it must be saved in the second one, I'm sure. Let's see, just give me a second. There's a second desktop as well. I'll have to show you. Where is the sheet two? Give me a second. This is the sheet two. See, I've got this here. See, simply the sheet is here. Just WhatsApp it, attach to the email, whatever you can do it. Okay. So that can be done. That is the second way I can send. My manager says, boss, you know, can you send me a PPT? Suppose I've created five views. Okay. He asked me to send me a PPT. Now, what will you do? You'll create images and post it into PPT. No, go here, export as PowerPoint. This view, or if there are many, you can select sheets from the workbook. There are two or three or four, whatever. Okay. So just simply export it. Let I'll do that. I'll go and export as PowerPoint. I'll say export 
and it will be exported here in my desktop. I'll just go here. There is another file already, so I'll just go here. Let's see. Can you see a PPT file here? Just give me a second. I will just show it to you. Where is the PPT file? Mm. Yeah, thanks. This is, it must be here. Let's see. Mm. Oh God, I'm sorry guys. Uh, yes, oh, this is, this is book one. Let's see if I open this, if I get this. Give me a second, please. See, this is somewhat like this. It's somewhat like this, okay? It may be an old one, but it, will, it may be saved in somewhere else, but it will look like this. So PPT, if there are three, four views, you can save the file right there. You can save the file right here, okay? Now, my manager says, okay, can you create a PDF for me? He says, can you create a PDF for me for the same, uh, the one that you have created, okay? So what needs to be done? I'll just go here. Okay. I'll just go here and I'll just simply file and print to PDF. Okay. Do you have four, five, seven sheets? That is okay. If we have just one sheet, active sheet or out of five sheet, you want to go for the active one, portrait or landscape, you can choose that. Okay. And just okay. Once you click OK, your PDF will be saved there on desktop. So PDF will also be saved there on desktop as well. So I'll just show it to you. Our PDF is open here. So I could see the PDF. See? OK. I can set the margin and all everything here. But this is the PDF that you will get. So there are four ways you can share your view to your manager who does not have Tableau. Do you see the different varieties? OK. People who have Tableau, again, can be saved, file, and save as. You'll get the option, just save the file and send it to the person over there, okay? Now, guys, this is just a sheet. If in case you plan to create a dashboard, that can also be created, okay? I can just simply go to dashboard, click here, place my sheet over here. So this is my dashboard. In dashboard, you will not get any extra stuff, okay? It's simply, you'll simply get this, and my manager will see only this. That is called dashboard and W. Okay. We'll talk about dashboard in detail. Okay. As of now, it's just the dashboard. Now, I'll come here. This is called at the top. This is called the menu. This is called the menu bar. So we have file menu, data menu, worksheet menu, dashboard menu, story menu. These are just the menu. This is called the toolbar. This is called the toolbar in Tableau. Okay. These are called the shells. This is a column shell. This is a row shell. This is a page shell. This is a filter shell. Okay. This is called the marks card. Okay. We'll tell you what is a mark basically. This is my view. So you can see my view has three partition. So the central partition, east partition, west partition. This complete view. Okay, this is a complete view or the complete table. This table has three partitions. This is called the pane. One pane, which is a central pane. Second pane, which is the east pane. And third pane, which is the west pane. So this pane, this pane, and this is called a pane in Tableau. Right? So these are the panes in Tableau. Now, I'll go here. Look at this. This is called the new worksheet icon. So you can create as many worksheets as you want. Okay. This is called the dashboard. So you can create as many dashboard as you want. And this is called a story. You can create as many story as you want. Okay. There is no fix that you can create this much, this many sheet or these many dashboard, these many stories. Okay. You can create as many uh, sheets, workbooks and stories you want now. Here comes one, uh, you know, I would say the problem. The problem comes with the memory of your system. As you start creating more number of sheets or dashboard, whenever you create any sheet or dashboard, if in case people who are technical, they should know it. Okay, they are aware, they, I'm sure they must be aware of it. It occupies certain space of your memory. Okay, so uh, if you download Tableau, if you're having a uh, Tableau with, you know, 2 GB laptop, so your Tableau will show you a lot of, you know, pictures. 
okay you will not be able to work on it it will be slow okay if you are using a computer or laptop more than 2 uh, gb then again you will be fine if you are using 8 gb or 12 gb or 16 gb and you are completely okay okay so whenever you create any sheet or any dashboard it takes small space there in memory as well okay so if you start creating 10 15 20 30 40 60 80 sheets it just occupies the space there will be a time when tableau will not be able to hold that sheet okay there is no space as such in a memory so again then there tableau will start you know crashing it you know hanging it stuck it could be anything right so sheets and dashboard and the third part is called the story in tableau that is called the story in tableau okay now this is what we have the interface of tableau right apart from this guys you have the show me feature in tableau once you click on show me feature you could see a lot of visuals here you could see a lot of visuals here these visuals are very friendly and easy to use you not need to create these just click and the visual is ready just click the visual is ready just click just click just click and your visual is absolutely ready see how easy is to create different visuals in tableau okay these are the ones that can be created straight away okay though there is an underlying uh, idea behind these one as well there is an underlying idea behind this one as well but yes you can create them straight up now i was there at this level my manager asked me matthew has sold 3109 okay that is total sale for matthew i would want to see what all has he sold under 3109 i want to see whether it's pen whether it's you know pencil whether it's duster marker what 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 has he sold now how do i come to know what he sold just need to click here and view data once you view data it gives me the three columns central representative matthew total sale this and if you go to full data it gives you the full data that uh, uh, matthew has sold pen set two pen set of the these two prices these many quantities one binder and one desk you can actually copy just go and copy it once you copy it go to that particular word file that you have opened for the uh, you know this one okay i have not saved it so i may have to create again sorry give me a second i'll go here new document and just go and paste it here see data can be copied and pasted for even a single bar okay see that can be done here okay even you want to click for these three just select these three and if you want to see data for the three can see data for these three just select all and copy the data for these three go to the word file and just come here and press control v you can see the data over here okay so that is very easy in term you can just copy and paste data over here right now Yes, guys. Uh, Dev and Rag, Banti, Chetan, Nagarjun, Nirmala, Pankaj, uh, Prasanna, Ramya, Sachin, Sandeep. Are we clear so far? Can you please tell me and text me over here? Though just an introduction, but still I would like to know. Are we going on the right page? Are we going in the right direction? Yes, yes. Yes. Okay, okay. Perfect. Perfect. Great. Thank you. Let's say now. Yes. All right. Okay. Now, guys, even if in case, even if in case you want to see the complete uh, uh, data, just go here. View data, and that will give you the complete data. Even if your data is made up of, I would say, two table, three table, four table, table will show you everything here. Okay. So just need to click here, and you will be able to see all the data right here okay now let's talk about certain default uh, you know properties of tableau the default i would say the default nature of tableau so i I'll, I'll talk about the default nature of tableau when i say default nature of tableau 
whenever i said whenever you place anything any measure to your view see tableau by default aggregates it it just the sum if you want you want to change it to something else you can do it average see you want to something else you can do it count you want to something else you can do it something else minimum maximum okay that can be done here on the view as well just it's on your fingers okay now you don't want it that whenever whenever you drag you don't want sum rather you want something else you want average that whenever i drag my field it should be average again that is again go to default properties because by default the default property is sum make it average once you make it average place it here you'll get the average in it okay so that can be done in tableau very easily right okay now as i said you can place anything into rows anything into column there is no need to worry guys i'm telling you certain you know myths and certain facts from the uh, class first and class second uh, there will be you know they, you may uh, find it a bit confusing what to place where what to place where it will be a bit confusing but again understand it if you remember about if you if you if you uh, remember your old days when you were in class 11 12 i'm sure you must have read about the statistics so in statistics or in maths we have we used to create the bar copy uh, bar copies okay bar where we used to create the bar charts for certain you know frequency or the intervals so just understand through that i'll just show you something suppose i need to show you that i have class with different marks okay so i say some people have got 25 to 30 30 35 35 to 40 40 to 45 45 to 50 and 50 to 55 okay there are uh, 20 people there are 17 people okay there are uh, 36 people there are 22 people there are 19 people there are 21 people okay yes they are kind of bins okay i'm not creating bins uh, dev i'm not creating bins i'm just trying to show you something okay i'm just trying to make you understand something so what we used to do we used to create this type of bar chart if you remember so what we used to do we used to place 25 to 30 here we used to place 30 to 35 here we used to place 35 to 40 here 40 to 45 here 45 to 50 here 50 to 55 here that is what we used to do right so when we used to do this now understand this we used to place 10 then 20 30 30 uh, 35 i would say or right, 10 20 30 i'll make it 40 50 and 60 okay for 25 to 30 i've got 20 people so i used to create this bar chart for 30 to 35 i've got 17 i used to create this bar chart for 35 to 40 i've got 36 i used to go for this a bit this 36 40 to 45 i've got 22 i can go here and place it right here right again then for 45 to 30 50 i've got suppose 19 i'll place it so this is now in w in w these are called okay at the bottom these are called headers and this is called axis in w okay in w this is called axis and this is called headers so you have headers and axis in w right you have got headers and axis and tableau now let's see i'll go here okay just <clears throat> let me drink a glass of water guys give me a second all right <clears throat> and back so guys if i go here in tableau whenever you place anything here okay whenever you place anything here this will be your headers if you place regions here 
this will be your header. If you place items here, this will be your header. Okay. And if you if you place anything on rows, it will give you a bar chart. That is, it, this is called axis. This is called axis, and these are called headers in Tableau. So for by default or for the first class, I would say you can place any column into this regions here, and you can place anything here. It will give you a bar chart. So for just time being, for first two classes, you can place this into columns. Okay, that means a uh, uh, dimension into columns and measure into row, just for the first class. Okay, now this is what we have in terms of Tableau. Now, guys, what you need to do, you need to download your software. I'll tell you how to download your software. Just need to go here. Let's go to Tableau.com. We'll go to Tableau.com. Okay, under products, use the Tableau desktop. Let's go for Tableau desktop. Okay. Once you go for Tableau desktop. Okay. I will just go for this. Try for free. Okay. So let's try for free. Once you click here. Okay. Start a free trial. Okay. Sorry. Try for free. Okay, it why doesn't it show me? Okay, I think just give me a second. Oh, you may have to sign up. Okay, you have to sign up for request of free trial. Just name this and that. Okay, so once you sign in, you just need to place your email ID there. Once you place your email ID, you will be able to sign in for the free trial. That would be a free trial for 15 days. Okay. So that is the free trial tableau. Okay. So you can download a free trial from anywhere. I guess from here as well, you can try. Okay. Yes. Say, suppose it's an email ID. Once you place your email ID here, download the free trial and you'll have your tableau in your system. Okay. The latest one in your, it's for the 14 days. Okay. We'll talk about how to extend the trial in the uh, later classes. So it's just the trial in your system. Once you download the trial, you can use hands-on. So still we'll talk about it. Don't worry. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it later on. Right now, the course that I will be following with you. Okay. So I would like to tell you what are we going to do in the 15, 16, 18 classes that we are having. Okay. So let's see if I go you, uh, if I take you to this, just give me a second. Okay. I would like to show you something as well. Just give me a second. I would like to show you something. I'll go here to demo charts. What all charts that you create in W. Okay. See, these are certain charts that you can create in W. Okay. Uh, see again, uh, Dave, the Tableau does not directly support the 3D visualization, but yes, with the help of, uh, there's a, uh, an option called uh, a Tableau, just give me a second, I forgot this word, Delta, um, we have this uh, Tableau images, something like that, okay, Tableau uh, polygons or Tableau something, you can add those to your uh, uh, Tableau desktop, okay, I'm, I'm not getting the right uh, uh, word for the same, but yes, we do have that one. So this is the word cloud that can be created. You can create a body pop chart. Okay. You can create a, a bump chart. You can create a rank chart. You can create basic funnel chart. You can create an advanced funnel chart. You can create a donut chart. You can create a Pareto chart in Tableau. You can create a moving chart. When I say a moving chart, simply see, I'll just click here and your numbers, I'm not doing anything. See. I am not doing anything in Tableau showing you all the numbers. Okay. So this is what we can create in Tableau. So these are the types of, and again, there are, there are other as well, but that needs a lot of calculation of, for example, Sankey chart or a Likert scale or sunburst scale, so sunburst chart. There are other charts as well that can be created in Tableau. Okay. That can be created in Tableau. Now, 
going to this okay i'll tell you the uh, session plan what i'm going to do okay so just okay so this is just that what we covered okay so this is just what we covered we'll be covering this we'll be covering second project unemployment in india okay we'll talk about the uh, uh, installation interface that we already discussed something okay but we'll be discussing something more in the other classes as well we'll talk about the supermarket in europe where we we'll talk about the dashboard hierarchies uh, filter action we'll talk about the actual uh, you know uh, sales and target sales okay something like that guys just give me a second there's someone at the door just give me a second bear with me please i'll be back there's someone at the door okay i'm here so uh, i was showing you this so we can uh, you know we'll be talking about this okay i'll be talking about the data preparation okay how to use data preparation in tableau we'll talk about these projects okay the advanced under advanced tableau preparation this is something under advanced tableau preparation we'll talk about this project it will show in the us where we we'll talk about level of details we'll talk about uh, the challenge startup for custom territory clusters cost based joins so all these projects are under advanced preparation plus we'll talk about these projects which will okay i i will give it to you these projects you need to solve those projects yourself and i'll share the solutions okay this is it will done after fourth week after fourth week after fourth week after sixth week after sixth week so that you have an idea of uh, everything okay so this is what we are going to cover in the complete one i would also like to you know uh, just show you the uh, the achievements that have been you know uh, done for the last uh, few i would say years so just bear with me so these are all the certificates so let me just talk about the the, the let's say this one okay so i have got every month for every month i have got a lot of certificates so i just wanted to show you these are the certificates that we have uh, got for the sorry this is not the one i'm sorry like for certified associate let's say if i talk about this so i've got this is for certified associate tableau desktop certified associate this is the result of certified associate okay tableau desktop specialist okay and talking about this let's say if i talk about this so these are all the certificates jasneek okay krishna these are all the certificates of, of people that have cleared certification under me okay that is and again it's immense okay for december i've got these many certificates okay for if i say uh, july i've got these many certificates again for june 2020 i've got these many certificates so these are all the uh, achievement that we have you know uh, taken uh, in the last uh, few years so will uh, give you the guaranteed certification okay once you uh, I'll, i'll teach you this a way that you will be able to get yourself certified in the coming exam now the the plan of certification is changed earlier what they used to do they used to give you uh, you know uh, internet and tableau to use in the exam but now they don't allow you to use tableau in exam now it just the knowledge based you have to go straight away you have to mark the answers okay when i talk about any of the class whenever you open any of the class i'll be sharing the ppt with you for example if i talk about this class 5 i'll be sharing the ppt with you so this will be the ppt that you'll be saying okay under ppt you will have the complete project mention okay what are we going to learn you have all these mention i'll be going to uh, share this data as well so not even this i'll be sharing the data as well so uh, for example if i have this data under this so i'm going to share this data with you so that you can work on the particular a uh, file okay so particular file so i'll be giving you recording for the same i'll be giving you data for the same so you'll be given the data you'll be given the recording everything so that you can work you can create the replica of whatever i have 
or whatever I am creating in my class. Yes, people. So Anurag, Banti, Chetan, Dev, Nagarjun, Ramya, Sachin, Sandeep, is Shiv. Is that clear to everyone? Yes, people. Okay. No, Banti, there won't be any practical question. They have made it very difficult now. They will be only uh, theoretical questions. So you should know in and out of Tableau. You should know in and out of Tableau. Right? So that is what we are, you know, uh, after. Now, guys, you can unmute yourself and ask your queries if you have any. I don't want to give you a lot of download for the yes for dextrose specialist Ramya yes for de dextrose specialist there won't be any uh, I would say uh, 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 practical question it, there, it, it will be only theoretical question I'll show you something let me show you one of the uh, you know uh, practice paper that I have created okay so that you will have an idea what kind of paper do we have here so I'll just show you this W certification mock I'll go W desktop let's say this and I'll just show you let me show you this word file and I'll open this file for you. So if I open this file for you, this is what you have. Earlier you used to have this type of exam. So there will be 30 questions. Okay. So these are all hands-on questions. These are all hands-on questions. Okay. And the starting one that you have are the, these are the, the theoretical questions that we have. These are all the theoretical questions. Under theoretical question, you will have whatever you have just. For example, this. See. Let's see. So let's see question number six. What the, which of the following you should use if you are making a presentation and the correctness of number is more important in performance. So when I say the correctness of number, so it means it would be live because we need the number. Okay. Uh, someone asked me a question. Just give me a second. Uh, Yes, Dave, SQL knowledge is very important. SQL and Tableau makes a very wonderful combination. So if you have SQL knowledge, it will be very beneficial to you because when Tableau is, you know, added to the SQL, okay, or the SQL databases, my SQL or SQL, the SQL knowledge is required to extract data from the database. Okay, Ramya, there will be 45 questions now. Earlier, there used to be 30 questions. Now there are 45 questions. Okay, so I'll tell you. Uh, earlier, they used to give this. Earlier, they used to, uh, where is my folder? Oh, I lost my folder again. I'll show you. Earlier, it was this. Earlier, they used to give you the, uh, see, they used to give this. That is one scorecard. Okay. Okay. And one certificate. This is the certificate and there's the scorecard. Okay. So that was the plan earlier. Okay. One hour. Yes, Ramya, it is for one hour. Now what they give? Now they give this. I'll show you. Now what they give is this. Where is the September? I'll give you Vishal. Now they give you this. Now, this is the latest one. First September 2021. Okay, this is the latest one. So you will have your photo here, tableau text title. Okay, new exam. So it will be like it is, it is valid for how long? It is for forever. This title is valid forever. Okay, so that is for tableau desktop one. Okay. Yes. Any other question you have? Is this the elementary certification? This is not the elementary one. Elementary for, for elementary, what does that mean? If you talk about if I mean, you say the very basic, the very basic no, see, there are two types of certificate that we have in W. One is called the specialist one, the second one is called the associate one. They are going to launch the third one, which is data analyst, but that will be uh, I would say after two, three months. But as of now, there are two. One is the specialist, and the second is the associate one. Associate require at least uh, six to eight months of hands-on experience. Okay. And this, this require at least three to four months of hands uh, experience. Okay. So associate, I would say if you have a good hands-on practical uh, knowledge, then you can clear the exam for this. You need the theoretical complete uh, knowledge of Tableau. No, they will give you just a, a theory based question. 
and they will ask you to mark the answer and there will be two type of question one is called the objective question the second is called the knowledge based question oh, sorry the multiple response question so for the multiple response question what do we have they will give you uh, five options out of five option you need to choose the three options that is what we have so we going to compete for the associate first. no no not as of now associate would not be covered because associate needs efforts from your side <laughs> For associate Ramya, there will be theoretical as well as practical question. Though this training will prepare you for the associate foundation, but yes, the certification preparation for associate is a kind of a, a another you know a milestone for you. It would be another milestone for you. So we're going to be for this specialist one. We're going specialist one in this course only. It is included in this course only. Though it needs, I would say, uh, 20, 25 days of training apart from the course. Again, guys, the course is only for uh, 2.5 months, which is again, uh, two hours a day in on Saturday and Sunday. Post-completion course, there will be a rigorous training of uh, one hour every day. And that to be either in the evening, okay, uh, 7 to 8 or 8 to 9, 9 to the 10, whatever is the suitable time. And that training would be regularly for at least 15 to 20 days. The, in, in, in that training, we'll be solving such exam that I showed you this exam. So I'll be showing you this exam. You'll be solving this exam, telling me the answer. Then I'll be having a discussion with you. So that will take somewhere around one and one and a half hour, almost every day. So post 2.5 months, we're going to have uh, this kind of routine to crack this exam, right? Exactly. That is very, very important. Okay, you won't be able to clear the exam just you know uh, a studying tableau anywhere. Okay, but yes, if in case you go for the uh, preparation, then only you can go for the you know. And the preparation is only for those who have the idea of tableau. I really cannot go for the preparation with anyone. The, someone comes to me, boss, I need to prepare for a certification. First, I need to check the knowledge. If he has the prerequisite knowledge to uh, come up to that level, though, so that he can clear certification, I am okay with that. If not, then again, you have to go through the complete, because in this course, I'm going to teach you a lot of things, not only one thing, lot of things of W. Okay. So that is very, very important. Yes. Sachin, Anurag, Chetan, Dev, Nagarjun, Ramya, Sandeep, Shiv, any other questions you have? But so far, just, just one thing else uh, more that as I just said that I have already done like in the past downloaded tableau for fifth uh, for the trial version. Now it's over. Okay, okay. I will talk about it offline. Okay, yeah, I'll talk to you offline. Yeah. Sure. Okay. All right then, guys. Uh, Sachin, Anurag, Banti, Chetan, Dev, Nagarjun, Ramya, Sandeep, Naik, Shiv. I'll meet you tomorrow same time. We'll start from the, you know, uh, scratch on Tableau. We'll talk about a lot of things in detail tomorrow. Okay. And uh, you download your Tableau and tomorrow I'll give you a certain assignment as well for the uh, week so that you can, uh, you know, make your hand dirty with the data and Tableau as well. Okay, folks. Okay. okay thank All you. right, then I'll catch you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Thank okay. you. Okay. Bye-bye.